Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hello, my name is Taylor. Today I'm outside, which is very different for me and I'm very excited for. Uh, I decided to come out and paint from life and I'm gonna be painting a landscape, which is not my normal thing I do. <laughs> so, this is definitely going to be a challenge for me, but I'm very excited for that because lately I've realized how much I have not been challenging myself when it comes to my art and I've been staying in my comfort zone and I just want to get better at painting landscapes. I want to get better at painting what I see right in front of me. So I hope to do this a lot more, but yeah, we're going to start off with some watercolor and I'll probably add on a couple different mediums. And I am using the Koi watercolor set. It's very messy. I'm very messy, but I really like this watercolor set. So with watercolor, you obviously want to start with the lightest colors first and build up to dark, which is the opposite of what I normally do when I work with oils or acrylics or even color pencils. So this is definitely going to be the challenge for me. Watercolor has always been difficult for me. And I think, you know, I, I really admire watercolor artists because it takes a lot of technicality and it takes a lot of like precision and not over layering and not using too much water there's just a lot that goes into it um, but it is a really fun medium to work with but I definitely have a lot to learn so yeah I'm I'm an amateur when it comes to this like I don't really know what I'm doing it's probably not right so but yeah So moving from uh, the background, I'm starting on the mountains that are in the distance behind the bay. Um, and at this point, I was having a very hard time with the lighting. The sun was kind of in my face. I had an umbrella. I couldn't really see if what I was filming was even looking okay, which a lot of it wasn't. But um, yeah, you know even with for me making videos is a new thing so everything just takes some trial and error and definitely being outside although there's not very many people around me I'm a very shy person so I kind of like have my guard up while I'm out here painting like I just am a paranoid person so I think painting outside painting from life can help my art and my social skills so that's awesome and I love this easel that I got. It has all of the things I need, like my acrylics, I have my watercolor set, some sketching utensils, erasers, a ruler, watercolor spray, and of course some GAC 900. I love this stuff, so I have to put it in there. Um, but yeah, I love this little easel. It's a little, it's called a travel box easel, and it really just helps a lot. So now at this point, I'm starting to fill in the greenery, the lighting, kind of focusing on layering as a whole, not going from the background to the front, doing the layers, and then just kind of trying to build on those details. Um, again, sorry for the bad filming. I, I, I'm kind of bad at this, but yeah, so I, for me with this exercise I really want to get the landscape correct when it comes to 
the perspective of it and so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out I definitely you know have a lot to work on and this has already taught me so many things that I kind of the mistakes I make and I probably won't do them again so it is such a learning experience right now this painting looks like scary absolutely scary but with art you kind of have to trust yourself and know that you're not wasting your time that this is gonna get better I promise it gets better Now here's a quick video from our sponsor, which is me. So guys, my name is Taylor and I am a artist. I've been working on my art business for the past two years and I now have my online store. Have you ever needed a sticker, a print, an original piece of art? Well, here you go, Taylor's World 96 on Etsy.com. I post all my originals, prints, stickers, and more, and especially for this holiday drop, um, I will be dropping new merchandise and different things. I as well have my website, which is taylorsworld.bigcartel.com, where you can find the upcoming events I will be at around the Bay Area and beyond, mostly in California, um, and as well, you can see my gallery and all the commissions that I've worked on. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for your support. It's been insane. So thank you guys. And let's get back to the video. So I know I kind of took a jump there, but the lighting was just crazy. And I didn't notice that my camera was just kind of facing the bright sun and not really capturing anything but I now am working with acrylic and I am working on the trees and stuff like that I am not too happy with the trees I had cars painted there but then I just went too overboard with the leaves and I just feel it looks a little too crowded but that's okay I now will know not to do that in the future and I definitely with this painting have learned a lot so I am happy about that uh, I'm as well adding some color pencil just for some details some texture So now I'm just adding in all the details on the rocks and I'm now getting a little bit happier with this piece. I tend to be very hard on myself like I think most artists are and I want like instant perfection and like what I imagine in my head and I need to keep telling myself, girl, that doesn't just happen. You have to put in the work and so... This is me doing that and I'm very happy that I finally came out, got out of my comfort zone and decided to paint. Um, I as well decided to do a place that I knew was did not have a lot of people so I wouldn't feel as anxious and that as well helped a lot as well but I hope to do more scenic areas, places with probably a better view than what I have today but I am very proud of myself and it's the small wins that you know you got to be proud of so I am happy and I did learn a lot which was the goal for today.
all right guys so here is the finished piece I'm very happy with it at first I was of course hard on myself but I definitely am happy with what I did and I'm not gonna lie this view is a lot prettier in person like I promise you it looks a little drab but I promise you it's a lot nicer of a little park than it looks but I am very happy with the outcome and now it's time to pack up and go and I'm so happy I get to pack up with a bunch of new knowledge so as I'm packing up I just wanted to take in the view and I as well was thinking where should I go next I have a couple different ideas um, I'm thinking I want to go to Treasure Island I would love to go to the Bay Bridge the Golden Gate Bridge Half Moon Bay so let me know what you guys think would be interesting because I want to start going to a lot more fun and scenic places but here's me happy and thank you guys again so much for clicking on this video and i hope this video inspires you guys to go outside and paint thanks guys <laughs>